Uh oh. That's not good. Well, that's not good. Well, you get one start, and that's all you get. So far, so good. Kinda. Well, let's see if this little knockoff can knock out a tree job. Let's try this cottonwood right here first. I believe that's about all we got to do. Not bad. It works. The little knockoff chainsaw works. This one's got a bunch of shit right in my face. I hate these kind. Get all this crap out of our way.
call these octopuses. Thick and bitchy. Shit fucking everywhere. Crap, it needs to go right here. my back you little bitch better everything's hit me in the damn face <sighs> are you still with me face right in the crap of everything starting to sweat like my mom when she goes to church See my tie-in point right above me. Let's 
see if we can hit it now. Oh. Alrighty. Looks like we're ready to start our descent. Give ourselves some slack. Just stay hooked up for a little bit. Feels pretty good. We can go for it now. Well, here's the end of our rope coming up. We're not gonna make it, folks. We're not gonna make it. So we made it 50 feet. And now we gotta hook back in. So we'll pull ourselves over. Swing the lanyard. That's a hundred foot rope. Untie you. Oh. We'll spur down their last 10 feet. And we're home. Oh, that feels good on the feet. Well, it can do two trees. That looks good. Well, it can do two trees. That looks good. That looks good. Well, I'm sweating.
Not too bad. Running a little rich. Cutting a little slow in the big wood. But I like it a little rich for the first few tanks. Make sure it lasts. Well, it did work. It did get the job done. Identical to the 200T and very similar performance. This is the one that comes in the box of parts as a kit and you got to put it together. You also got to do the quality control and the inspection. You got to check everything out and improve everything if you can. There were some real sharp edges on the pole starter and when the rope came back in, it sliced it on the flywheel and the housing here. It was super sharp inside there. So you got to take your rotary tool and dress everything up. Pretty much have to do that to every part on the saw. I always take the oil pumps apart on these and clean them out real good. They're full of junk and they won't work as they come. But you can clean them out and you can make them work real nice. The only issue I had is it does not want a cold start. It takes 20 poles to get this thing to cold start. But once it's warmed up, it'll start the first pole every time. Everything on the saw is that Chinese brand, the Farmer Tech brand. It's even their chain, their low profile chain. It's their bar. This is a 14 inch bar. It's even got the crappy spark plug in it that comes in that kit. So it's 100% out of the kit. Bar and chain are just fine. The rivets punched right out and spun a new link right back in. Chain's still holding up pretty good. No complaints there. Didn't exactly leak bar oil and it oiled the chain just fine, so no complaints there. But if you're not paying attention to things when you put this together, you will have issues. You have to inspect every part and always be looking for ways to improve every part because there's flaws on everything. You really have to do the quality control. But as long as you do that, you'll have a decent product. I left it running a little bit rich. Hopefully that'll help make it last a little longer. Who knows how long these things are going to last. Running it a little rich is just fine, especially for the small cuts. You really couldn't tell it was running rich until you got into the big wood. When I was cutting that oak, you could tell it was a little rich. Now that I've ran a tank through it, I can definitely lean it out and it'll spin that chain a little faster and it'll cut a little bit better through that big wood. But a little bit rich should make it last a little longer, especially during the break-in. But I don't see any issues with this. It seemed to do just fine, especially for the price. That's the most impressive. It still has fuel in it after those two trees and that one oak tree. There's about a quarter tank of fuel left, so it's fairly economical. But the cold starting is my only complaint. But other than that, everything's just fine. No complaints. The chain's still nice and sharp after all that. It latched right on and hung on the saddle just fine. Everything else felt as normal as a normal saw. You really wouldn't know there was anything different about it unless you knew about these things. You could really get fooled there. But for the cheap price, it is a decent saw, at least for one tree job.